watching artistic strokes i am shivanshi and welcome back to another colorful video i know there's been a lot of gap this time in uploading a video but that is because i was a bit busy with my other work but the important thing is that i am on a mission you know what kind of mission since a few days there have been a lot of ants in my home it has been like a tsunami of ants they are everywhere so i am on a mission to find a solution to this and put an end to this so guys i have found out that they are coming from the backyard so today you and me together are in this mission and we are finally going to put an end to this let's go You know, since I'm making this, I have realized that ants are quite a complicated creature and they're not as simple as they appear to our eyes. So there are numerous small parts in an ant, especially the legs. They are divided into so many small, small uh, parts. They have so many joints in them. So, uh, but there's a fun fact for you people. You know, ants do not have ears. Yes, so they hear by feeling the vibrations in the ground through their feet. I think that's why the legs are more complicated than their body because the legs have dual functionality. So uh, they are built according to that. Or give it a more realistic uh, effects. Okay, 
So firstly is uh, of course by adding these light and dark shades um, like you can see over here uh, this part of my painting is darker than this section of my painting. Uh, the second one is you can draw your painting in perspective. And the third one and my favorite one is by making a casting shadow. So here I am going to do, use that technique. So for making a casting shadow what you have to do is you firstly have to decide where you are going to place your light source, light source, okay? So since uh, I have made this section of my painting lighter, so I am going to do the light source from this side. And uh, so my shadow is going to be cast here, this side of the painting. those